Hi, I'm Ty Pendlebury from CNET.com and this is a hands-on with the new Spotify iPad app. Spotify has been in the US for about six months now and one of the most requested features was for an app dedicated to the iPad and today it's here and we're going to have a bit of a look at how it works. Essentially what you get is a, uh, a similar interface to what you get on the desktop application except it's down the side instead of across the top. So what you've got is you've got a search bar, you've got a what's new uh, catalogue, you've got an inbox which is different from the one that's on the iPhone, it doesn't have a dedicated inbox app. You've got playlists, of course, and people. So to access Spotify, what you'll need is either a free subscription, which you can get via a Facebook login, either zero per month, there's a $4.99 unlimited account, and there's the premium account, which is $9.99, which also gives you offline access to all of your starred or saved tracks. So to start off, what you do is you go up to your search bar here and just look for something. We'll try Pennywise, which is being released today. You just click on the artists. Brings up all the Pennywise albums. You go in here. Brings up a second sort of slide out uh, view there. And interest interestingly, you can actually slide back and forward between these windows as well once you actually bring up an album. I'll just have a look here at uh, some of the playlists I've got. Uh, an Aussie indie reader. So if you uh, follow me on Spotify you can find that playlist and uh, you can also bring up the cover art by just pressing on this little button down here it brings up the cover art but as soon as you go across like this it swaps albums and swaps tracks um, it would be nice if it ha actually had a, a view where you could see all the albums in a playlist and not have to switch automatically between tracks as well okay and lastly we've got the settings um, you can choose between offline mode um, you can scroll to Last FM if you're a Last FM member. You can show on Facebook if you really want to spam all your Facebook followers. And uh, I choose Extreme, which is the highest bit rate as well. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it has a bit more functionality than the iPhone app, but the good thing about it is the large cover art, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Like most music applications, this is compatible with AirPlay, so if you want to play it to a speaker or Air Express, you just press that little button. Got it hooked up to an Apple TV here, glows green and will play to your Apple TV. So that's a little bit on how it works. If you're interested in getting the Spotify app, you can download it now from the iTunes App Store. This has been Ty Pendlebury for CNET.com.